Okay, so here we are. Got that welded in place. Welded the pipe. So it's welded to the base. <clears throat> and welded that. I'm gonna coat that with some sealant too to seal it up before we weld the drum, the barrel on top, which will be the next step. So we'll put some sealant on there, put the drum on there, tack weld it in, flip it upside down, and do a permanent weld. And that part will be done. Here's Jerry welding the legs on the rocket stove. There's Jerry. There's Jerry burning himself. <laughs> Too much heat, not enough heat. That's about right. That's about right. It's it's on there. It's on there. <laughs> it's not coming off now. I'm going to cut it off. Well, here we are. <clears throat> we did a trial run of the rocket stove, and pretty much it's a success. We're going to uh, make some little changes. We uh, have some holes down by the intake down there, as you can see. So we're going to weld some metal up there and seal that up tighter so it draws better through the top but as you can see it's rocketing very little smokes coming up through the through the top it's all being drawn in and uh, we ran some temperature chest test temperature chest temperature tests and uh, we're getting about 400 and 50 degrees off the top, 500 degrees. Of course, we've got this temporarily rigged outside the flue with the aluminum stretch pipe, expanded pipe. And so you can see we have a huge gap there in the door. And the garage door is open. And it's still nice and warm in here. Well, not warm, but it's what? What would you say? Comfortable. It's comfortable. Our temperatures are supposed to get down around minus 5 tonight, so it's cold. Um, we got 450 degrees off the top, burn chamber down below, down there is approximately 700 degrees, and the temperature here off the flue pipe is 178, right about there, and it's cooler even there, you can touch it, you can, right in there you can touch it. And I'll take you outside and show you the steam coming off the, the flue. Here's the flue going under the garage door and I just have it propped up against the box and you can see the steam coming out. That steam it's not smoke. It does smell like smoke a little bit. Well it just smells like wood burning. It does have a smell but it's wet if you touch it it's moist. So that tells me that a lot of the wood gas is being burned off inside that burn chamber correctly. Well, here we are in the dark. We got the rocket stove going. We uh, stoked it up with some uh, scrap 2x4 cuttings. And look at that burn pipe down there. 
cherry red. And uh, it's pumping out some pretty good heat. Jerry and I are sitting here drinking a beer and enjoying ourselves. Aren't we, Jerry? Yep. <laughs> Got a little smoke back into the room, but I think it's because of my holes in my intake there, so I gotta plug those up and I think that'll go away. If you kind of put your hand over there and block off that, you can see where it suddenly goes back, goes back into the stove. So just a couple minor design tweaks and I think we got her. Yep, and what's cool is that's cool right there. I can put my hand. Yeah. Get some infrared heat off the fire itself, but it's not hot. And that pipe there is glowing red hot, but you can go over to the uh, exhaust on the other end of the stove and you can put your hand on it. And it's hot, but it's not hot enough to burn you. So that's a pretty good temperature change from uh, not more than about uh, six feet difference. Over and out.